Hello, this is Nintendo 14. Play to one, Pikmin 2, part 26, in the last part. We did more sub, sub levels of the Frontier Cavern, and in this part, we're going to tackle on the last sub level. Sub level of the Frontier Cavern, and right away, you want to throw all your Pikmin up here. You'll see once, once we get all this done. Come on, throw like it was nothing before. Eh, you're not reaching. God dang it, get up there. They're coming. They're coming for me. No. Oh, no. Get. No, they're falling. No. Get back up there. No, no, no. Don't go back down. All right, that's good. Uh, actually, come with me, President. All right, this is, this is not going to end well. As we see, we have a lot of... A lot of larva, baby, baby larva bulb, bulb orbs. And luckily they go down in just one hit. And uh oh, this is not gonna be good. Ow. Getting hurt. It's, it's Empress Bull Blacks. A pregnant e Empress Bull Blacks. It's pregnancy in a video game. And there's very few games like this too. Ah, uh, this is not gonna be pretty. Alright, because... Uh, we have the president. I, I think it's best for Olimar to take down this on this job. For, for it, right now, Olimar will be the distraction for all its babies, and we're gonna have all of our Pikmin be called. Luckily, they're all up here. Are they? Are they? Oh, okay, good. They're all up here. So we're gonna have them all up here, and make sure, make sure you don't get your other captain just just gang banged by all these lava be. Well, larva, larva beetle, so you want to make sure you keep an eye on both the distraction captain and the captain you're using to actually fight the Empress Bull Blacks. So, you got that to worry about. And you want to get your purples out, because they're the fastest to kill. And pretty much spam away here. Alright, shake off. And Olimar's getting severely hurt here, because of all these larva thingies. So, once it's rolling around, you have the ability to worry about your other captain that's taking all the hits for you, so you have that to worry about, because definitely you do not do not want your second captain to go down. So that's a thing you have to worry about. Get your pick back. Nope. Alright. Just gonna keep on going. So have your purples out. Oh, oh geez, now get, get back, get back. Out of the way. Oh. Jeez, I lost the purple. No. And our captain is taking a lot of hits. I really... I think I should... Nah, I should switch out. Oh, jeez, no. I don't have time to... Actually, yes, I do have time. Olimar, you're really hurt. It's time for the switch out. Ow. President, take the hits. If you can. No. Off the president. Alright, so we'll have Olimar take over on this fight because you know we don't want, want him to go down really so we'll, we'll just do that shake off make sure the president doesn't take too much damage because for whatever dumb reason the Mamuda is back at sub level six I think they well they can they can still hurt the captains if you're close enough to them because they don't they don't mess around they, they they're, they're like those gangster people that just they see someone and they just they're just they just want to they just want to create trouble so just nope, jeez, no, no. How they, how they just, he just flung him all the way, all the way up there. No, now don't attack. What are you doing? I'm whistling. Go, don't you see the little thingy? I didn't want to switch. Ow. Okay, that's just, that's just stupid. Why are my Pikmin so dumb? I, I told them to whistle, but they just don't listen. All right, just get back. After one, one grunt, you might want to just whistle back right now. That's my tip for this boss fight, for this variation. You want to actually work fast. You want you kind of want to fight fast here because you, you don't want your captains going down. Because right now our our president, president and all of our are taking quite a beating here. So luckily all these baby bulbarps are actually dropping a lot of nectar, so we can replenish it if we need to. Not if you really need to, but. This is one of those instances where, you know, co-op would be nice. Or single-player co-op would be very nice. But, you know, due to GameCube limitations, we did not get that. Nor in uh, Pikmin 3. Well, we kind of did, but not really, actually. 
didn't really feel like it. I, won't, I, won't, I, I mean, seriously, if you're gonna make a Pikmin 4, please, please have it. But, d but what I don't want is four captains. If there's four captains, then I'm just gonna face palm and just say, well, and I'll just say to myself, wow, I did not see that coming. So anyways, there's not much left to go with this boss fight, so... Oh, wait, it's already done. I thought it was gonna roll again, so... That's good. Pre Stop hurting the president. Okay, we got ourselves a baby booty. Little, little shooty shoes things that probably my sister wore a while back. And if it's not obvious, then that thing should give us... Give our captains the ability to run a lot faster. So we'll have our Pikmin get away. No, actually, Nectar first, then you carry. All right, so get all our Pikmin and Nectar. How come none of these are sprays? That sucks, kind of. But we're gonna take this, and luckily, when we exit this cave, our captain's health should be fully back up to 100%. Because they should do that because they don't have, they won't have it where in the first game. Six minutes. They don't have it in the first game where you can just go to your ship and just, you go in the light thingy that takes up all the ship parts and stuff. You don't have it where you can just do that and just replenish your health instantly. Nah, it's just, you just, on special occasions where you can replenish your health. But anyways, we got ourselves the repugnance appendage. I hope they have inserts because I need inserts because I have flat feet. And without inserts, then it's, it's pain for my feet. So I go with a happy feet. So I can get happy foot, happy feet. I don't know exactly what the company's called, but I go there to get my arch supports and my my insights, so my feet don't hurt. So, anyways, with that, we finished the last cave in in the Valley of Repose. So all that's left in this area is to get that treasure from the fiery bull blacks that we somehow did not get. I left it by the ship, but it respawned for some dumb reason. And before we, or and after we do that, we might as well just give the Medal of Honor to our Red Pikmin. Why not? Oh, well, there's no Medal of Honor, but you know, might as well deposit all our whites. We only got 42. It's well, it's all right, but still, we're gonna need, or right, we're gonna need 26 more purples. So I'm gonna try and take two more trips back into the subterranean complex and get my 25 or my 100 purples so we can get off there so we can be ready for the new area so once we do that we shall be good and we'll get some here's what we'll do we'll get 30 blues for this next part we'll actually get hmm, we'll get 30 whites you know we'll have them carry the thing the rest we can have reds actually no I said well, the rest will have reds because we're gonna use them to convert into purple Pikmin and I shall make a quick cut so we can get to where we want to go which is obviously all the way here I don't know if you noticed but when we're going over there you can see how fast we go we outspeed the regular flowered Pikmin except for the white ones because they go by pretty fast who's you know, White men can't jump, but they sure can run fast. So anyways, we are back. We are going to disband here, as we always do. And, you know, let's let's just try and get this right this time. Because we, some for some reason, we just never get this right. And luckily, the water doubles do not respawn. So it's just me and that fiery bull black. So let's go. I want to hog up the treasure. It's my treasure, you know. My treasure. Get over here. Over here. All right. You're here. You're gonna... No, get back here. I said get back here. I'm over here. No. You wanna dip into the pool? Dip in the pool. Yes, got it. Oh, wait, you're not on fire. It's okay. Attack it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Right, let's get that... Get our nectar problem solved. Alright, luckily we got just enough, so we can do this come on all right once we get that on we'll have the rest of our pikmin carrying that will be whites so we'll get that and place her right there and have president 
stand by with our 40 reds to be our volunteers as tribute to become into purple pikmin they'll be faster and stronger and fatter so once we get this treasure back we'll do that okay that was weird <laughs> he just phased right to each other so that 10 pellet okay that was weird that 10 pellet and that treasure just went completely the opposite direction and 10 110 Actually, that, that treasure would have paid off the debt, so that was kind of a good call not putting it in because we really needed an extra day here. So we'll let the Pikmin count go up for that, and we'll have our president go into the subterranean complex, and I shall cut until I'm done with everything. And with that, I finally got enough Pikmin to... Oh. Alright, we have over 100 purple Pikmin. This is, this is going to be good once we get into that new area that I did not mention about when we first got it. The new area called the Wispel Wild. But uh, that once we get 100 Pikmin, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll cut until at the end of day as I harvest more Pikmin and give them more nectar. So in case if I didn't show this off, if you have 20 of each Pikmin, you'll actually have all Pikmin start humming a tune. Which is kind of all right. Twenty of each, so it should be familiar to you if you played the first game, because it's a theme that play is is a song that promotes pro, promoted the game, and if they could sing it any day now. There it is. So that's the that's I know Uta, which which was sponsored to. It was this it was a song used to promote the game. It actually out the song actually outsold the game, which is kind of silly in my, which is kind of funny in my opinion. So that's that. I'll get I'll get to you in the end of day screen. And with that, we finally 100%ed the Valley of Repose. So there's no reason to come back here. So all that's left is the perplexing pool and that new area that we can set foot in now that we have the president. And I don't know why Louis was not allowed in. The, the new area but we're actually gonna let the end end of day the end of day cutscene actually play because we never seem to do that often we usually just skip it but you know since we might as well we, we might as well just do that because you know add add on to the recording which is over 30 minutes and half of that's gonna get cut out because of me because of me just farming purples going back and forward into the subterranean complex and that's a lot of pokers we got we got 15% right there that's 15% of the debt right there and here's my pikmin that i sprouted i sprouted a little bit more blues and we lost a, little, a few yellows i wonder where eh it's not important though got 30 more purples so we're all set for the new, next or the new area we'll probably take tackle that on as soon as we get there and now we have the president. The mail are all uh, the the mail that we usually get from the president are now replaced with the president's wife and others. Hmm, so, president, you are. I just got back from vacation to find out that you're on a treasure hunt. Well, don't bother coming back home until you've found every item on your list. That's great motivation from the president's wife. So, I think that's going to be it for this part. So, tune in next time for part 26. Is not 26, that's the part we're on, but tune in next time for t part 27, as we're not going to go back to the perplexing pool yet. But, we're going to set foot in the new area, the Wistful Wild. So, see you guys then.